job, your school, your family. Um, you have a suffer from a chronic family illness. I know this has talked about those. Or maybe traumatic stress. Those are things like a car accident, a natural disaster, or a war. Um, any of those things can lead to PTSD. One of us mentioned PTSD. Um, and then jump start stress. And I'm pretty sure we've all gone through this. Maybe some of us more recent than others. Um, but this picture here uh, represents maybe like we have overslept and we're late for class, and so we jump up and it's that like automatic kickstart, jump start stresses, um, the stress that gives you the motivation to get up quickly and do things. Or maybe this other one. Um, I know here lately I've gone to bed and I, I make a checklist of all my homework and the things that I have to do. And as soon as I lay down, I'm like, oh yeah, I remembered I have to do that. And it's like that automatic kickstart <coughs> to the motivation that gets you through. Some ways that you can handle stress um, on your own are to keep a positive attitude um, or maybe some relaxation techniques. I have uh, actually learned a few. I serve as a counselor in the summer um, for a church camp. And a lot of those kids that come see us have actually, they're from really bad homes, they have really bad home lives. Um, and so we, we talk to them about relaxation technique, techniques and keeping a positive attitude. Um, some of them that I've learned are just simply maybe like meditating. Not so much from like a spiritual standpoint, but just to calm your mind and um, focus more so on what you need to do to get through whatever your situation is. Or maybe just to sit there and breathe. If you do, um, three in and like three out and you just keep, keep doing that until you're calm. That tends to help me sometimes. A balanced diet. Especially as college students, a lot of us don't eat the way that we should and that can, can, contributes to our stress in life. Uh, time management. We all have, have issues with time management, I'm sure. It seems like we have so much to do and so little time to do it. So if we can um, set goals to do things in a timely manner, then maybe things will not be so stressful in the end. Um, make time for your hobbies. Some of us have talked about hobbies in here. For me, I try to do that. Maybe I can't do it daily, but at least by the end of the week, I try to make time for my hobby. And it's time just to relax your mind and focus on whatever you may need to focus to to regroup. Um, an accurate amount of sleep each night is important to us. Seeking professional help is also another way to deal with that. Um, even if you can't deal with that in whatever the way that I've talked about, that you can handle it on your own. And you need professional help, that's okay. A lot of us do not see that as a way to cope because maybe we don't want to seek out professional help. But that's always okay. You can see a psychologist or a counselor, and maybe not even professional help, but maybe you just need someone to talk to and you've got a friend who will listen or a family member who will listen to you. Uh, again, it's not the load that breaks you down. It's the way that you carry it. I think, um, I know that that's true for all of us. I hope now that I've talked about the different kinds of stress and different ways that you can handle it, um, that you will be able, you're, you're, well, you're more knowledgeable on stress and that you are able to handle it in whichever way that suits you.